Well, hi everyone, I'm Emily and welcome to Little Village. Now I want you to stop and think for a moment. What is your favorite food? The food that makes you so excited that you're gonna eat it. Pause the video here and share what your favorite food is with the people around you. Food is such a big part of parties, isn't it? Whether it's special cakes or biscuits or crisps or ice cream, food helps us celebrate. But food can also be a cause of celebration too. Hands up if you're ever excited when you hear that your mum or dad has cooked your favourite food for dinner. Yeah, I know that I am. See, food is such a gift and we can be thankful and have joy because of it. And that's what our true story from the Bible is all about. Celebrating God because of the food and the gifts that he gives to us. So let's head straight over to the clubhouse to hear from Ollie and the gang. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Ciao friends, I'm Luca, and ciao is how you say hello in Italian. Can you wave and say it with me? Ciao, ciao. I like saying new words in different languages. Today I'm saying Italian words because I'm making Italian food. Can you guess what it is? It's pizza! And I want to share it with my friends. So I'm making each of my friends a little pizza so we can have a pizza party. Making a pizza is like being an artist. First, you have to paint on the sauce. Hold up your brushes with me and pretend to paint sauce on your pizza. Ready? Swish. Swoosh. Swish. Beautiful. Next, we have cheese. Yum! Now, grab a big handful of cheese and pretend to sprinkle it all over your pizza. Bravo! Next comes the most fun part. We decorate! Oh. Ta-da! What do you think it looks like? I think it looks like a pizza pig. <laughs> oink, oink. It's Jayla's favorite animal. Zoe likes cats. Do you think I can make a cat pizza? Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? Having a pizza party, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I'm making little pizzas for a party with my friends. That's a wonderful thing to do. Did you know God loves parties, too? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today is a party day, and I made special cupcakes for it. Do you want to see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my garden party cupcakes because each cupcake has a different food from a garden. And when they are all together, it looks like one big garden party. Isn't that great? That reminds me of a story. If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible is about celebrating. We celebrate a lot of things, don't we? Birthdays, Christmas, New Year's Eve. But God wanted his people, the Israelites, to celebrate for a different reason. See, the people worked in their gardens every day. They grew lots of food but it was God who helped them. God made the sun shine. 
God made the rain to water the plants. God made the food grow. And God wanted the people to take time to thank God for all he had done. So that's what they did. They got everyone together. Sons, daughters, workers, people that lived in the town, people that lived out of town. Everyone came. And they did what God said and celebrated for, are you ready? Seven days! <laughs> How many is seven? Can you count it with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! <laughs> they celebrated for seven days and seven nights. That's a long time. It was a big way to say thank you to God for helping them. Hey, let's celebrate God and say, thank you, God, really loud. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, God. Yes! <laughs> thank you, God, for all your help. The people could have joy all the time because God was helping them. We can all have joy all the time because God helps us too. Does God still make the sunshine? Yes! <laughs> Does God still make the rainfall? Yes! Does God still help the food grow? Yes! <laughs> God is still helping us all the time and we can celebrate that. We can have joy all the time. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can have joy all the time? I can have joy all the time. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God helped the people. And then they had a big party to say thank you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, the people in our story had joy and celebrated God because God helped them. We can have joy and celebrate God because God helps us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I'm thankful to God for all the food we have, especially pizza. And I can't wait to celebrate with my friends. See you next time. Arrivederci. Everyone came together to celebrate for seven days that God brought the rain and the sunshine and the crops grew. They were celebrating and saying thank you to God for helping them. And we can do the same too. See, we can celebrate God because he helps us and we can have joy all the time because God helps us. When I say, who can have joy all the time? I want you to reply, I can have joy all the time. Ready? One, two, three. Who can have joy all the time? Yeah, I can have joy all the time. You can have joy all the time. And we can have joy because God helps us. He provides for us. He cares for us. And he brings the sunshine and the rain. And he is always with us through both. So we can say thank you to God. So let's stand to our feet and sing and dance our praise to God. Did you know that worshiping God can actually bring joy to our lives? So let's get ready to dance. Do you remember that our song this month is called Dance Party? And it's a brilliant song. It starts with some clapping, and then the chorus goes like this. Jesus, your love is for everyone. We're gonna shine your light, shine your light. And then there's some clapping that you do above your head and then you can kind of swoosh your hands for the chorus as well. And we point our hands in the air. Those are the actions. Brilliant job, well let's get dancing. Party people, where you at? Uh. It's time to celebrate, it's time to get it started. The party's happening here. That's right. I turn up the music. 
Brilliant job, Little Villagers. You are so good at picking up those dance moves. Music and dancing as worship can make our hearts feel full of joy. And joy can act like a medicine in our lives because joy makes us feel better, just like medicine does. In fact, that's what our memory verse for this month says. It says, a joyful heart is like good medicine. And that's in a book of the Bible called Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine. So let's stand and say that together with Justin. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. A joyful heart is good medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. Great job. Joy will always make us feel better. And remember, no matter what's going on, we can experience joy because God loves us and God helps us. He will always take care of us and provide for us. So let's pray together. Remember, prayer is just the conversation with God and we can do it anytime, anywhere, about anything. And knowing God is the source of this never-ending joy that we can have in our life is amazing. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you for loving us enough to always provide for us. Thank you for the rain and the sunshine. Thank you for the food that grows and that we get to enjoy as food. Thank you that you love us and knowing you brings us joy. Amen. Brilliant. Well, that brings us to the end of our session today, but we'll see you next week for our third installment of Start the Party.